This is where they film uh, Kevin Can Wait, the sitcom show. Somebody on Twitter wrote us, he said, hey Sal, I love the uh, recipes and uh, I'm in a truck and I make your recipes in my truck and uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So, so we decided that um, we're going to go hook up with him and I'm going to make him a, a dish today. I'm going to show everyone how to make a... To stay on North Broadway. We have a special guest, Miss GPS. I'm going to show him how to make a uh, Reuben in his toaster oven. He has his own toaster oven. A lot of truck drivers have their own toaster ovens, which is pretty cool. It makes sense. And you know what? They're saving you money. Reach your by I like that lady. And you know, it, it's interesting. It never occurred to me that these, these truck drivers, they have these small cabs. And in those small cabs, they have like beds and books and whatnot and computers. And it never occurred to me, toaster ovens. You know, because when you're a truck driver, you have to have stuff in your hand, you know. I mean, you have, you know, you have your moving, you're grooving. You can't really eat an open-faced sandwich. But if you have 20 minutes or 15 minutes to relax and you want to give yourself something a little extra special, you make it open-faced. When you're driving, closed-faced. Very, very simple. If you, if you guys take a look, I made pancakes in a toaster oven. So these guys can even make breakfast in their toaster oven with my channel, which is pretty cool. And that's the beauty of my show. You'll never see Emeril Lagasse driving around in a car heading to a truck driver to tell him how to eat a sandwich. That's right. You'll see Sal Governale doing it. That's the difference, folks. You're getting nothing but top-notch entertainment and a great takeaway with Big Meal Small Places. An open-faced Reuben in a toaster oven in a truck. Whew. Sounds like something you would uh, Google on a porn site. <laughs> Oh, there he is. We see him. There he is. Jason! What's happening, buddy? Nice to meet are. you. Nice to meet you, too. You got a toaster oven in there? Yes, sir. All right, let's make some cool food. Let's do it. All right, be right back. I'm going to pull right, this thing you. around, get the food out, make it happen. If there's ever been a guy on a mission, it's me, comedian and cooking fanatic Sal Governale. Each week, I travel around with just my toaster oven, showing people how to make big meals in small places. Hey, it's Sal Governale from Big Meal Small Places, and behind me is a big-ass rig, and I'm here with my buddy Jason. How you doing? Good, from Flint, Michigan. He's a truck driver. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Jason. I work for uh, AD Transport out of Canton, Michigan, and uh, they brought me out to Long Island to deliver uh, so I could do the show with you. and. Uh get my New York on. All right, so let's do this. Let's make a meal inside Jason's cab. Uh, you hop in, I'll go around, sound good? Yes, sir. Let's make it happen. All right, Jason, so this is the first time I'm actually in a cab. This is pretty amazing, man. There's a lot of room here. Yeah, there is. Yes, and uh, I wonder if you stopped at a uh, special place recently. <laughs> no. Some girl missed out on the bonus? Uh, no. Really <laughs> no. Anyway, there you go. Dollar for good luck. You can put it in my G-string after we eat if the meal is good. So I notice you have a little table here, and Jason has a little toaster oven. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but we'll get a shot of it in a minute. And um, the whole thing I was thinking, like, you know what? You're driving. You want a decent meal. You want a decent sandwich. You don't want to spend a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, there are some times you could sit down and eat it. There are some times where you have to get back on the road and you're like, oh God, it's gonna get cold. So I was thinking open face sandwich for two reasons. The sit down element where you can enjoy it with a knife right. and fork. And the, you know what, gotta fold it and get up and go element. It's a good idea. So yeah, and open face sandwiches are simple and easy and they're great and they're delicious. Anything heated up, anytime you heat up uh, cold cuts yeah. and turn them into hot cuts, they're just that much better. So I thought, what can I make for you today? And I'm thinking a Reuben sandwich, an open-faced Reuben. Is that good? That sounds fantastic. Yeah. I got uh, a piece of tin foil right here. And I'm gonna lay it on the grill. Okay. And then from there, I'm gonna take this delicious corned beef. Oh yes. Look how good that looks. That's great. 
Dude, take a slice. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Yeah. Let me give you a tip, Jason. When you order your meats, you always gotta go thin, man. Cause it just melts in your mouth, you know? Yes, it does. Very good. So take that corned beef and just put it on the foil. Mmm. Right. I want more of this corned beef. Mm -hmm. I say the hell we're making it hot. Let's just finish it now. <laughs> All right, so we got the corned beef and we got it on the foil right here. And you know what I love about this toaster oven too? To people out there watching my channel, make sure you subscribe. You'll notice that I use a fancier toaster oven. This is real simple. It's real small, real simple. It'll do the job just as well. So don't be intimidated by uh, the toaster oven. If it could get hot, it could do the job. Now I have some sauerkraut and we're gonna take the sauerkraut and we're going to, got a plastic fork at the food mart where you, you know, leave. got yes. the plastic fork and we'll put the sauerkraut right on top of that corned beef. By the way, Jason, what's your favorite type of uh, sandwich? Reuben. For real? Yeah, it actually wow. is. Look at that. high Reuben. <laughs> New York style. New York, st New York style. Well, we're in New York. We're making a Reuben, but uh, we're giving it a little bit of a, the uh, Michigan flair to it because we've got a Michigan man here. It'll work. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so now we have the sauerkraut on top. And then if you want, you add your Russian dressing. I'm not a big Russian dressing fan, but I'm going to add a little mustard to this one. Mustard always is good. Yeah. And you know what? If you're on the road, Mustard might be a little more convenient and easy, you know, being in here, where you could just keep a bottle of it and squeeze it on. Or, you know, if there were some places you could get those uh, Russian dressing packets, you could throw it on there as well. Oh, yeah. But I like the mustard. I think that looks really, really good. And then finally, we're going to add the Swiss cheese. Look how good that looks. Oh, it looks fantastic. Okay, and then finally, we need the toasted rye bread. Gotta go for the rye. Definitely with the Reuben. Yep, and if you notice, I put the foil obviously on the meat side, and I left a, I left a little space open for the bread because you want you want the bread on the grill straight up. Let's push that in and close it up. Once that cheese is melted and that toast is nice and brown, we are gonna have a Reuben. Sounds good to me. All right, I'm excited. Are you? I am. In a cab. Yes. Where's that dollar? Let's take a ride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason, look at this. It's been about seven to eight minutes. We, we have been keeping an eye on it. The cheese is melted beautifully. Yes, it is. Look at the toast on this. Wow. Cheese melted. The corned beef is nice and hot. And now I'm going to show you how we assemble the open face sandwich. The reason why I put the cheese on top and the toast on the side is so you can obviously take, take the toast. Check this out. Drop it down on the cheese. Give it a good press. Take your plate, put it on top of that. And flip it over. And here we have no mess, no fuss, an open face Reuben sandwich. Now, you're going with a knife and a fork right now with that sauerkraut and that melted cheese and that crispy bread. Or, hey, got a call, got to get on the road. There you go. Time to eat. This is for you. Give it a bite, my friend. Thank you. How does it look? Looks fantastic. Wow. Crispy, crunchy. Nice heat coming off of that. Mm-hmm. And there it is. An open face Reuben sandwich in my man Jason's rig. You can make it as well. Two ways of doing it. Just slap it on the plate, flip it over and eat it with a knife and fork, or fold it up like Jason just did and enjoy it this way. Jason, thank you so much for having me. Thanks, pal. Have a safe trip back to Michigan, every place else you're going, and uh, enjoy your sandwich, my friend. I will enjoy All right. Don't forget that. Oh, the mustard? No, the dollar. Ah, uh, you got me. I'm taking this dollar. Take the dollar. Take care, guys. Thanks, Al.